If you are a student looking for an apartment or a room online, you have to be careful with the scams in the web. If you want to know how to buy them or some tips to reduce your rental price, there is a company that can help you out. So my friends started to ask for my help and I started to help my friends and then friends of friends and at a certain point I didn't know the people anymore who I was helping. And then I said, well, maybe I should ask, uh, start asking a little bit of money for it. And this is basically how my company started growing about uh, four years already. I see if there is a scam, I see it's either a person without a, a profile, I mean a profile picture or without friends on Facebook and uh, the English they write is pretty poor. Mm -hmm. I don't mean to say that if it's poor English it's fake, no, but that could be one of the signs. Mm -hmm. Also if one landlord says, well, I'm sorry, I'm abroad and the house is from my sister who is blah, blah, blah. You can know that there's something wrong. Yeah. Or if they say, well, we cannot bring you the key. We'll, we will send it to you by airmail. You also know there's something wrong. So you always have to ask if it's an apartment, if you can see pictures. Mm -hmm. Well, if you can't see pictures, then of course no one wants to take it. Uh, but also ask them, is it one of my, if, even if not, nobody's there, um, even if you don't have any friends in Groningen, always ask just to be sure, one of my friends is already in Groningen, can they have a look at the room? Mm -hmm. And if they say no, don't take it, you know, it's uh, something wrong. Mm -hmm. Check out the Facebook profile, check out if there's any let's say relevant data. Um, I know a friend of mine, he set up a, a web page, it's called hosmeright.nl, where you can actually see if people left a reference about the house that you're going to rent. Only 5% of the police reports actually end up in court. So yes, they could file a report, but the chance that the police will do anything with it is very small. I'm not saying if something like this happens to you, you should not go to the police because they don't do anything. You should, because maybe if they have 10 cases against the same person, they could do something. In my opinion, the best thing to do is to try search online mm -hmm. and to get in contact with the landlord personally. Why? Because there are a lot of agencies that make you pay for no work. And I'm not saying, uh, because a lot of people are, are screaming out that it's not allowed to charge an agency fee. It is allowed. I just want that to be clear. It is allowed, but only if the landlord uh, or I mean the, um, the agency actually did work for you.